Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective readings. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, there's a lot of energy going on out here. You may be picking up on it as well. Um, there's a lot of things that are happening uh, in the collective as well on the karmic side. I, this is this Mars and Taurus energy. Let me just <laughs> tell you straight up. This is exactly what it is. Um, you're having to stand up for yourself, defend yourself about whatever you have, whoever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, defend yourself in interpersonal relationships. Defend yourself on the job. Defend yourself however it is because somebody's trying to push your buttons. This is the energy that I'm feeling, right? But I, I do feel like you're, you're taking this energy in stride with the Mars and Taurus energy and understanding the assignment not to sit back and to, you know, to kind of stand in your power. And here's the energy that I'm talking about, the magician. You're coming out as a magician. When I say standing in your power, you are, right? Um, I'm feeling a lot with this magician energy. First of all, it's all about you reclaiming your power. If you have felt powerless in any way, shape or form in any interpersonal relationship, take the energy as it resonates with whoever the person is, right? That you're defending yourself against. Friend, family member, the, your ex, you know, the karmic attached to your ex, your coworker, your boss, whomever this person might be, I am getting very heavy uh, relationships with exes. Let me just tell you that straight up. I am getting that uh, very heavily specifically because I'm getting very specific downloads about it. But again, place the energy wherever it resonates. You're reclaiming your power. Um, you know, I do feel, you know, there are a lot of situations where you were made to feel powerless. However, that was whether it was that ex who just did not want you to think that you were on their level or that you could do or you were enough for them. You know, I'm getting a lot of cheater energy. Oh, you know, there are some cheaters out there, bro. Ugh. Anyway, but however they made you feel powerless, I feel like you're reclaiming your power. Like, you know, um, I reclaim my time. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the energy that I'm feeling for you is an invigorating. It's like it's building strength. You know what I'm saying? It, it's building. And this is what I'm feeling in your energy. I do feel like you are reaching out to the ethers, you know, with this magician energy and not only using all of your, your strength and, you know, your power from the ethers, I feel like you're putting it into practice. Um, I am picking up on energies where people are starting new spiritual practices, um, you know, and in, in order to kind of reincorporate that new power that you're feeling right about now with this energy. So I def definitely think that it's all about you reclaiming your power, right? And you, however the magician energy resonates for you, whether you're starting a new spiritual practice, you're adding something in, it's building, right? So I feel like it's something new that it's building, right? For you to be able to stand firm against this person who carries the queen of wands and the inverse energy. This is the, I feel the other opposing energy. This is the bully. Didn't I tell y'all, y'all were going to have some bullies, some people that are out here. Here we go. Starting out. <laughs> or actually we started yesterday, but yeah, this is whoever this person is. That's uh, starting out with this energy here. I feel like somebody's lashing out, right? Somebody's being a bully, somebody who's trying to, you know, throw their weight around. Um, I do feel like this person is being very reactive. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person is going to push your buttons. And we said that that's this Mars and Taurus energy, right? But you've got the right energy to oppose it and shut this down, right? And whatever the two of cups situation this is, right? So whatever type of friendship you guys had, um, like I said, I am feeling relationships with exes or current, um, you know, people that you're involved with. Um, this does not have to be romantic. This can be simply as a business partnership. This could be your boss or your coworker at your job, you know, trying to throw their weight around, but you're reclaiming your power in that situation. Go ahead on collective. But this is the, this is the battle right here. And this happening uh, energetically as well as on the 3D. So you got the right energy to kind of oppose this, but your energy is going to overpower the situation in the best possible way possible, right? Um, because you got this 10 of swords and the inverse energy. You're getting the energy to release this pain, this bullying, you know, whoever this person is or throwing their weight around, you're overcoming that with your power, right? Um, I do feel that it, it does have a lot to do with you spiritually. Like this is, um, I'm hearing coming home, a coming home for you. And I, what I'm taking from that download is you're coming home to who you really are, right? In this magician energy. Not to say that you were never really carried magician energy before, but there's something new about this. It's something more invigorating. It's something like Mm, was it uh why am i getting salt bay <laughs> at a dash of salt it's something new about your energy that's making this like chef chef's kiss you know what i'm saying this is what i'm feeling with this particular energy it's something new and it's something building to be able to defend yourself and allow you to release this pain that this bully is trying to throw your way right 
however they're lashing out. I do feel like it's, uh, you know, they're lashing out with words. Um, I do feel like this person's playing mind games with you, trying to intentionally antagonize you and intimidate you, but you're releasing this, right? You're getting a chance to move on because they did have you in the world, uh, world in the inverse you being stuck and having delays this person playing this 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 game with you is all their game you're 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 checking out the game it's only a game you know if it's two players you're just like no peace out i'm out you know what i'm saying you're not you're not you're not on the field this is what i was saying the other day y'all and it's them i'm this is all a confirmation what i'm saying this four swords in the inverse it's all a head game for them this is the game that they play this is who this bully is this person loves to play mind games right? This person loves to play mind games, right? This four swords in the inverse is definitely them overthinking, overanalyzing, doing the most with whatever they're doing, but it's a lot of sword energy, communication energy, thought energy. Um, this person may say something to get you to react in a certain way, but it's them that's in that reactive state. You know what I'm saying, collective? And I told y'all this Mars and Taurus energy is all about controlling your emotions because this person will want to pick with you to get a reaction out of you because this is what they're y'all come on this is the energy right the four swords is them just ignoring the, the fact that they need to stop they don't stop right they want you to react right but you're not going to but the problem is they do carry the hangman and the inverse energy very stubborn and very selfish in the way that they think about this relationship i am getting the energy if this is this ex this ex still wants to play the exact same old games that you they, they were playing with you before they haven't changed you know what I'm saying? This world of the inverses energy is what they really carry, right? They want you to carry their negative energy. You're like, nope, nope, nope. Sorry, not doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot about how they think about things. It it will never change because this is like I, I was saying, you know, the other day, it's this narcissistic energy. It's their way or the highway. And that's how this person thinks, right? However, this uh, whoever this person is, whether this is your ex or somebody about, uh, at your job, it's their way or no way. That's how this person thinks. Hangman in the inverse, very, very stubborn about how they think about things. There is no room for negotiation, which is why you're having to kind of stand up and defend yourself with this new invigorating, powerful energy of the magician that's coming through that allows you to kind of release what they're trying to do, that like stronghold over, you know what I'm saying? But here's, this is the very interesting thing. So the 10 swords in the inverse energy is coming out for you. You're getting a chance to release from what this person is doing. The 10 of wands in the inverse is coming out for them which should be that they're walking away from problematic situations. I don't think that they are because this hangman in the inverse is coming out for their energy, but I do feel like you're walking away from problematic situations uh, as well. So I get like a dual energy with this energy right here. Um, I do feel like you're definitely committed to moving forward and something about your new re reinvigorated energy. And it's, here's a confirmation of what I'm feeling for you, this page of cups energy. I, it's something about your powers coming online right? Um, this, this Mars and Taurus energy is like spark something in you. Like I said, I do feel like somebody's picking up a new spiritual practice if that applies to you or not. This page of cups energy talks about, um, you being sensitive, emotional, um, somebody going through an awakening to kind of re, you know, connect them to who they really are. You know what I'm saying? Their divinity, right? Also tapping into your empathic ability, your psychic, empath uh, psychic uh, empathic abilities and using your intuition, moving in your intuition. You're not allowing this person's mind games to overrule your intuition anymore. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you are that I'm picking up on, you're learning the lessons to move with your intuition, not dealing with people in their mind games. It's like people do a lot of this <laughs> and you're just like, I'm not listening anymore. I'm not listening anymore. Um, and this is a confirmation uh, as well. You're coming out right next to the Knight of Pentacles energy. This new energy of yours, I'm feeling like you're, you're dead set on protecting your heart. Right, your page of cups also is uh, talks about having an open heart. I feel like you're 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 set on protecting your heart, as well. You should because people like this want to play with it. They don't know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, this is something to where you're out here. You're getting new energy. You're connecting to who you are in the ethers. Your your new self. Your your real self. Right, and tapping into all of that power in the magician energy to protect your heart. And you're going to be committed. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what this person thinks. Whether this is your ex. This is this coworker. This is this person that you just newly got involved with. Whoever this person is, you are not giving up on protecting your heart from this person's mind games, right? 
you're not giving up and, and protecting yourself from this person, you know, lashing out because they just can't have it their way. This ain't Burger King. You know what I'm saying? This Nine of Pentacles energy also talks about, you know, this is um, the, one of the slowest nights in the deck. So it might take you a little bit longer to get to your destination, but it is a very hardworking, trustworthy, and dependable energy. I also think they know that about you as well, which is why they keep poking at you. It's like poking the bear. They know you're going to keep trucking, but they're just like, how long are they going to keep putting up with my crap? Well, if they're going to keep putting up with it, I'm going to keep dishing it. You know what I'm saying? This is what I get in the energy. And it's all because of the sun and the inverse. They're very vain, arrogant, and this person's not right. I do feel a heavy energy of obsession with whoever this person is. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of X situations. A lot of X situations, X, X's that don't want to change. They have not changed probably. Um, I do get a situation where there's a new third party in the mix for somebody. Ugh. I can't with it. And here's a confirmation. This three of pentacles, or excuse me, two of pentacles in the inverse. Whoever this ex is of yours, they're overwhelmed. They got a lot going on. They want their cake. You need it too. Okay. That you're the cake. Apparently <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they want you and they want all their dalliances. They, they want you and they want to still play head games with you. They want you and they still want to be able to lie to you, trick you, manipulate you and to bully and pick with you. That's what they want. If that's not a narcissist, I don't know what is, but it's it's really pressing this narcissist because you're not with the games. You're out of the game, right? You're out of the game or you're moving out of the game with this energy. I feel like you are really protecting your heart and you are dead set on it. You know what I'm saying? This magician energy combined with this page of cups, very, very powerful. I do feel it very, uh, you know, energetically as far as in the, in the 5D. Somebody has some ancestors out here that are just... They're proud of you, number one, is what I'm getting and, and what I'm hearing in my energy. They're proud of you, but something about this is also uh, a generational curse. You're breaking a generational curse. Somebody out here is a generational curse breaker. There's an ancestor coming through talking about this because apparently this has been a recurring theme in somebody's bloodline. I only take that if it resonates. It's coming through for a reason for somebody's um, lineage, right? But whoever this ex is or whoever this person is that's, who's doing this to you, whether this is an ex or not, doesn't matter if this is some person off the street, they're overwhelmed because you're not being susceptible to their games anymore. That's the whole reason why this two of pentacles and the inverse energy is here. Uh, con uh, while confirmed with the eight of swords and the, uh, and the upright, they're stuck in their head. They have their own self-limiting beliefs. They think that this is the way that you do things. This is somebody who's not mature, who probably has not had a mature relationship before. They were faking it the entire time. If this is a relationship, this is probably, you know, somebody at the job who uses manipulation to get to the top. This is the way that they think that the world should go. That's the way they do things. Maybe it was successful in the past, but it's not being successful with you. Certainly not anymore. You know what I'm saying? This also talks about in insecurities, heavy sword energy. They're in their head a lot. So possibly an air sign involved in this situation. I do get fire sign as well, but um, this sword energy is heavy air sign, right? Thoughts, communication, word energy. They're in their head a lot. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this person is, it's a situation to where their own, the way that they think about things traps them, right? It's them trapping themselves. And that's why they're overwhelmed all the time. And I'm, I'm willing to bet you um, this person gets themselves in the exact same situation all the time. This is not, you know, something that, you know, is just a fly by night occurrence. This has happened a lot for this person. It's because of the way that they think of things. If they change the way that they think of things, they would actually be able to get out of this trap. But no, they're their own problem. Wow. It, wow. So you got the eight of swords coming out with the eight of wands and the inverse. This is what, how this person thinks about things is the problem. They're the problem. And I'm, I'm, I know this is not a newsflash for you, right? Because <laughs> you already know this, right? This is the confirmation that this person is stuck. They're having delays and they're not ready for change. This is this ex that I'm picking up on. If somebody, they want their cake and eat it too. They want you. They want all of them other side side pieces, right? Um, they want to they want to cheat on you. They want to lie about you. They want to talk about you. Oh yeah, and you still should be there to be their punching bag to deal with it. No, it's not going down like that. Isn't that right, collective? No, they're not ready for change. Whoever this person is, they're going to stay in their own self limiting beliefs, and it's going to trap them. Well, it is trapping them. You know what I'm saying? Wow devil is out here for them this is their energy this is all a confirmation of what i'm feeling with this energy if this is this ex trying to soup around your way this person has not changed don't want to change ain't never going to change because they don't want to all this energy says they don't want to you know what i'm saying collective the devil energy is anything with uh, addictions i do feel like somebody has a sex addiction 
I do feel like somebody has a gambling addiction. Um, um, I'm picking up alcohol as well. Somebody's a heavy drinker. Somebody smokes cigars. Somebody smokes cigars as I'm picking up really specifically. Um, but whoever this person is, this person, they like what they do. You're the weird one for not liking it. Um, I do feel like somebody wanted you in this toxic, negative environment. Um, somebody wanted you to be okay with the side piece I'm picking up. I wanted, um, somebody wanted, uh, anyway, somebody, somebody's got some sexual deviant desires and they wanted you to be a part of it. And I'm not going any deeper than that, but that is what I'm picking up in this energy. They wanted you to be okay with it is, is what I'm getting. You know, if this applies to this particular ex, somebody's ex out here is a hot mess and they wanted you to be okay with it. And if you weren't okay with it, that was the moment that this Queen of Wands energy was coming out. You were going to get attacked for not being in league with the devil. If that ain't the devil and one of his demons, I don't know what it is. Come on, y'all. No, you're not running with the devil. This person is, and that's going to be their downfall. You know what I'm saying? Literally. And our last clarifier is the Six of Swords and the Inverse. This person is our own worst enemy because they picked to run with the devil. That's why you are coming out with the magician and protecting your heart. You're being led, I'm hearing, to protect your heart because this person is in league with the devil. You are not supposed to be around this person. I don't care who this person is, whether it's your job, whether it's your ex, this new person that you just found out that's running with the devil, that's got a new side chick. Come on, y'all. You're being led away from this person on purpose. This person is not for you. You're. It's two energetic polarities, the light opposing the dark. The light always wins. It's never the other way around. That's why this person is their own worst enemy because they choose to stay in toxic situ situations. They chose the devil. This is somebody's confirmation out here. All right, y'all. Let's get a visions of duality so we can get some advice for our collective. Uh, card 11 talks about neglect. And they certainly neglected this um, relationship with you. That's why it's not going anywhere with you anymore. All things wither by neglect be it a person, a jewel, a garden, or a castle. Neglect treats them all the same and delivers them to oblivion. Neglect corrupts before making us forget. It is a great yet subtle destroyer. Neglect is not for the past and neither is it for the future, as neglect is the most poisonous in the present, disguising itself as higher priorities, laziness, or inconvenience. Neglect, however, is also a coward, as one just needs to face it to make it flee. Mm. Advice, neglect starts in the mind, but rules over the actions. Do and do not wait for tomorrow. Um, this is definitely a, a lesson, you know, in this person's situation. They neglected this relationship. They chose to stay in league with the devil. And that's why this situation with you deteriorated. And that's why you're piecing out, moving into your power as a magician. Go ahead on Collective. Let's get a profit card and we'll wrap up. Card 21, be also the peacemakers. All right, let's see what this says. Your soul is oftentimes a battlefield upon which your reason and your judgment wage war against your passion and your appetite. Would that it could be the peacemaker in your soul that I might turn the discord and the rivalry of your elements into oneness and melody. But how shall I, unless, you're your, unless yourselves be also the peacemakers, nay, the lovers of your elements. And that's what I'm talking about. You being the lover of your elements. You got the magician out here loving yourself, all of yourself, connecting to your true power, all of your power from the ethers and really bringing that out in the 3D. Protecting your heart with this uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. You're being the peacemaker of your own soul, your own heart, your own circumstances, while this person wallows in neglect, running with the devil. That's their loss. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.